Up on a daily basis so yeah I'm actually loving this look a lot so <laughs> so if you want to know how I did this look then just keep on watching first I'm going to apply a primer and the primer that I'll be using is the Urban Decay primer potion I'm just going to apply a small dot to my eye and then I'm just going to blend it with my finger and I'm also going to apply it down there. First I'm going to use a Zoeva 142 brush and my NYX eyeshadow base and I believe this one's in skin tone and I'm just going to apply this base all over my eye. And I like to bring it in here because I have a little bit of darkness. It also hides a little bit of my imperfections and kind of dark circles back here. I've been breaking out so bad because it's that time of the month. So I, yeah, I'm all out there today. <laughs> I'm going to use my Air Spun Translucent Powder and I'm going to use the same uh, 142 Zoeva brush and I'm gonna set the powder that I just not the powder but the base I'm gonna set my base I'm going to be using two palettes today right now I'm gonna start with the Morphe Kathleen lights and I'm gonna use this shade right here in the mid in the middle and I'm gonna use it as a transition shade and for a brush, I'm going to use a 228 Zoeva brush and I'm going to apply this above my crease. And I like to drag it just a tiny bit out here. I like the kind of the cat eye kind of looking uh, shade or I don't know, shape. That's just how I like my eyes to me. I have very small coated eyelids, so I like to make them as wide and big as possible. Now I'm going to use the Masquerade by Juvia's, and I'm going to mix these two colors, which is Ada and Cairo. And I'm using a pencil brush because I'm going to apply this directly onto the crease. And I'm just going to apply this directly onto the crease and kind of make like a little V shape back here. V shape. And then I'm going to go all the way in. And I'm also going to color the inner corner with these two shades. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep adding color until I'm satisfied. I'm just going to grab my brush, the one that I used in the beginning, and I'm just going to blend the edges. Blending is key, so blending, 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 until you no longer see any harsh lines between the two colors. I'm going to use the same pencil brush, and I'm going to go with Zulu, which is this brown. And I'm only going to apply this color on the outer and inner corner only, just to kind of deepen it up a little bit like right this. You can bring it into the crease just a tiny bit, but I want this color to be mostly on the outer part. And then don't forget to blend. 
with a really small brush, I'm going to use the Kathleen Lines palette again. And I'm going to use this nude shade right here. And I'm going to apply this shade under my brow. It also helps clean up like all the mess that you did because it's a color that is close to your skin tone. Now with a Soleva 226 brush, brush which is a synthetic brush, I'm gonna go with this color. It's called Daya, Daya, or Dahia. I don't know. Daya. I'm gonna call it Daya. Sorry if I'm saying it wrong. <laughs> and I'm going to apply this color on the center of the lid. Kind of like into a pyramid shape. Yeah. These colors are amazing. I didn't even have to apply this wet. That's the amazing palette that this is. I'm just gonna go back with my pencil brush with whatever is on it, and I'm just gonna blend the edges just to make it seamless and we don't want to see where the color actually begins and where it ends if that makes sense and then you can apply more color if you want to onto the lid if you want to make it intense you can also get it wet I'm not going to wet mine because I'm going to apply some glitter on top so it'll be okay now I'm going to grab the uh, e.l.f glitter glue I'm just gonna put some on the back of my hand okay I'm gonna grab this palette this is by horns and halos on Facebook I ordered my little palette from her so I'm gonna use this gold shade I do not remember the name of this gold but yeah so I'm just gonna grab some glitter glue from the back of my hand and I'm gonna apply it directly to my lid So with my finger, I'm just going to grab some glitter and I'm just going to go straight in. So what I like to do now is go back with my pencil brush and just kind of go around it. Blend. Take off a little bit of the excess of glitter where glitter went where you don't want it to be. So I'm just... I'm going to go a little bit with um, the eyeshadow that I use on my lid, which is Cairo and Ada. And I'm just going to blend the edges. With another pencil brush, I got this brush from Coastal Scents. So I'm going to go with Zola, which is this beautiful shimmery turquoise blue. I'm going to apply this on my lower lash line all the way in. Feel it coming back. Now with a Luxie 221 brush, which is a flat definer brush, I'm gonna go with Dahlia and Chi. I'm just gonna mix these two together and I'm gonna go right into my tight line. For my waterline, I'm going to use a blue pencil. This is by Me, Me Now Generation. I got this on eBay, I believe. Um, they're really cheap and they're really good quality. I actually do like them. So I'm just going to put this color on my waterline. Now I'm just going to clean up all the fallout. I'm going to use these because I can't find my makeup wipes. So <laughs> I'm just going to use these right now just to get rid of all the fallout. I didn't get a lot of fallout. It wasn't so bad. It's just a little bit. For eyeliner, I'd be using my Tarte Clay Paint in black and it's brush. I'm going to do this off camera just because it's very difficult to do it. So yeah, I'll be right back when the after the eyeliner is done. All right, so my eyeliner is done. I like to do a really dramatic wing. That's just my style. You don't have to do it as crazy as I do. It's just my preference. 
So I'm gonna go back with this palette and I'm gonna use this shade right here. It's called Giza with a synthetic brush. And I'm going to apply this color right in the inner corner. I'm using it as a highlight. Yes. So some of you guys might know and some of you know because you follow me on Snapchat, but I got my eyebrows microbladed like, I don't know, maybe four or five months ago. It's been a while. And um, I've been using this pencil. I get it on my Ipsy bag. I do not know the name, but I'll post the link below. But I really like it. It, it almost looks exactly like the Anastasia brow pencils. But I'll be using this one. I just like to fill it in a little bit. I don't go too crazy. With all this heavy makeup, my eyebrows look so much better. Now I'm going to use the Milani Easy Brow Tinted Gel. And I just want my eyebrows to be in place. I don't want them to be moving around. I have really crazy brows. So yeah, let's keep them, you gotta keep them in control. Okay, so now I'm gonna move on to the face. First thing that I'm going to do is I'm gonna apply the Nivea Man. I use a lot of primer, so don't be shocked if you see too many that I'll be posting. So <laughs> I'm gonna put this all over my face. And I'm gonna rub it until it gets like sticky. Another thing that I like to do, I'm going to use the NYX Pore Filler. I want to fill in my pores as much as I can. That way the foundation goes on smoothly. So I just grab a little bit of the NYX Pore Filler and I'm going to rub it into my pores. So another step that I'm going to do, you don't have to do this. I'm going to use the NYX First Base uh, Primer and I'm just going to cover my eyes and spray this all over my face. Another raincoat waiting by a pay For foundation today, I'll be using my Urban Decay All Nighter Foundation in 3.0. I'm just going to dot it on my face first. I'm going to use my Real Technique brush. This is the uh, buffing brush. I like to use a brush first and then I go in with my um, Real Techniques uh, Beauty Blender. I don't even know if it's a beauty blender. It's just the Real Techniques uh, sponge. And then right away I grab my Real Techniques sponge and blend everything in into my pores. I'm going to use a smaller brush just to get real close into my brows just because I don't want foundation to go right on top of them <laughs> and then I go in with my regular brush and then I use my sponge for concealer I'll be using the Tarte Shape Tape I really really like this stuff and a little bit goes a long way so you got to be really careful with this stuff So I'm just gonna dot a little bit right here and kind of do like a little pyramid shape. I put some on the tip of my nose as well. I don't want to go too crazy. <laughs> so this stuff is intense. I'm gonna use my Real Techniques uh, beauty sponge and I'm just gonna blend the concealer. going to bake. I'm going to use my Airspun Translucent Powder and I'm just going to go straight in here and grab some and go straight into my face. To set the rest of my face, I'll be using the Infallible Pro. Um, I'm just going to apply this stuff literally all over the face and I'm also going to take away the baking with this brush don't even ask me what this brush is because it's so old i don't even know where i got it from 
nada, nada. It's old. It's probably like one of those brushes that I bought the first time I started doing makeup. <laughs> and it's still in really great condition. Lately, I have not been contouring at all. So I'll be using more like a bronzer to contour. So I'll be using this city color contour effect too and I'll be using this bronze shade the one in the middle I'm gonna use the same brush tap off the axis and I'm just gonna go right on top of my contour I just kind of like the more soft bronzy face and I like to bring it onto my forehead as well Highlight, I'll be using these Morphe palette. This is the Daisy Danger palette, and I'm gonna use this shade in this shade with a Luxie 514 uh, blush brush. But I'm gonna use it to highlight just because it's very soft and gentle. Let's see how it is. This is the first time I'm using this brush, so. I don't know. I think it might be too soft. So I'm going to change brushes. I'm going to use this brush right here. This is a Zoeva 112 face brush. And it's a flat little brush. And I'm just going to mix these two. And just go in. Oh yeah, much better. I have a little bit of bumpiness since I told you guys I was breaking out today. But it's okay. We're not perfect. We all have something going on in our faces. I love highlight. I don't know what it is. And then the trend is very popular. <laughs> you know what I forgot to do? I forgot to contour my nose. So to contour my nose, I'm just going to grab a um, 224 brush by MAC. And I'm going to go with that bronze shade. What did I do with it? So I'm just going to go with that bronze shade right here. And I'm just going to contour my nose. Feel it coming. I'm going to go back with the highlighter and I'm going to highlight the tip of my nose. And then a little bit on the bridge of the nose as well. Okay now, so for blush, I'll be using this Milani and Romantic Rose. Instead, I'm going to use the Zoeva 127 brush. And yeah, let's go in this time. So I'm going to go ahead and set my face just because I don't like to do this before or after I already applied my mascara and stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and set it. For mascara, I'll be using two products. For my top lashes, I'll be using the Urban Decay Perversion. And for my lower lashes, I'll be using the Man Eater by Tarte. For false lashes, I'll be using these right here. They're super long. I got this on the Wish app. I actually, it's called the Cute app, but it's it's from the same company of the Wish. And no, I'm not promoting this. But if you want to know where I got this, that's why I'm letting you know that I got it on the Cute app. So they are gorgeous. They're I like the thick band. Um, that's just my preference. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna put these babies on and I'll be right back. Also, if you're wondering what eyelash glue I'm using, I'm using the new Duo Liquid Glue. Um, I really, really like this stuff, but it can get a little bit hard to take off, but I really, really like this glue. For the lips, I'll be doing a nude lipstick uh first i'm gonna go with a pencil this is a this is by goldfinger in nutmeg now i'm gonna go with a colourpop ultra matte in cheek and i'm literally going just to apply this all over the lips I want a little bit of a more nude pop in the middle 
Um, I really like the way this is already, but this one I'm going to use Platform by Colourpop and it's also a ultra matte and I'm just going to apply it on this center. And I'm just going to use a brush to blend it out. 